Okay, so we are at Charlotte Motor Speedway in the Xfinity Series of the NASCAR Clear the pin, hammer game. down. I will tell you that this is a setup that I really did struggle with trying to find a balance between tire wear and uh, speed. Finally found something that I am happy with. Hoping to turn something here that is a sub 30 second lap. Uh, there is kind of a bump right there that I just rolled over, but you got to be careful there. It seems like you go over that wide open, uh, or if you try to hit the throttle before the car settles, it seems like it will really upset the car. I like to be low coming through the tri over there, or the double dog leg, I think is a better term. Um, I let the car settle after getting out of the gas fairly early and try to hug the bottom. Again, coming down here, I'm a little below the suggested line. I'm out of the throttle going over that little bump. I'm back in, you've got to be a little careful to get back in the throttle, especially with uh, brand new tires. You can get a little loose if you drop that hammer too hard. Just hoping to get a sub 30 second lap. Let's see what we can do. There's several videos where I have had to record the lap time then add in the audio later because sometimes I don't do very well when I try to talk and drive at the same time. There, that was a 29.95. I'm going to call that a respectable lap. Uh, talked a little bit about what you have to do. Again, I, uh, in turn one, I try to lift fairly early. In turn three, I am trying to lift just as you're getting to that little bump to let the car kind of roll over it. Uh, as the tires wear, you can, it seems like you can get more aggressive actually in getting back in the throttle. When the tires are brand new, and when I say brand new, just maybe the first three to five laps, sometimes if you, if you slam the throttle too hard trying to get back into it, it'll get a little loose on you. Um, but, um, that's about all I have to say about the, the laps. Let's actually go look at the setup. So with the setup, I am all over the place on the bump and rebound. And again, uh, that is really trying to get the car to perform more in the middle of the corner. Cause I was having a lot of trouble with the car wanting to get severely loose. Uh, when I would drop the hammer, especially uh, especially in three and four. So I made some adjustments with the bump and rebound there. I am really low on the front weight and really low on the wedge. And I did that because that's what I had to do to get uh, the tire wear that I wanted to make the tires last. So that tends to make the car kind of loose. So I had to do some other things to get the car to tighten up. Um, I've got really high front, right front tire pressure and a pretty big gap, at least based on how I usually do setups between the right front and the right rear. And again, that's to somewhat uh, counteract the loose condition you're going to get from having a wedge so low. Uh, I went really conservative on the camber on the right front. And again, that is to try to, to conserve tires. And um, that's about it. The, the rear end ratio. I went with a 1.05 and a 310. There's not much difference between that and a 3.07. Uh, I even toyed around with running just a 1 for the rear end gear ratio and a 3.25. Uh, this is what I settled on. Uh, you can tweak it. It doesn't seem like it, those tweaks change it very much. It's more just what you're comfortable with. But that is the setup. If you've got questions, leave them in the comments. Any other tracks you want to see? Let me know in a comment and I'd be happy to put it up for you. And if you would like and subscribe, that would be huge. I would greatly appreciate it. And thank you. So